weeks earlier. You do about the subpoena, and but if you you've seen the subpoena, there is not much in there to uh, indicate what the investigation is about. So I think it's, it's a, probably been a matter of frustration for him because they're not forthcoming. They're not telling him what, if anything, they're looking for. I've seen interviews at, at uh, the feds. I guess they just say no comment. I just, I can stick with that. Um, this is a crappy question to throw at you because this is one I was going to throw at you. I'll provide you a crappy uh, answer then. Okay. <laughs> um, if I was on vacation and I knew that the feds raided my home, I wouldn't wait five days. I would stop my vacation and hop the next flight home to find out what the heck's going on. Um, has he given any indication on why he didn't go, oh crap, I got to go find out why the head feds are rooting around in my house? And I think one thing that's helpful, I think they, there was a published report, I think in the Seattle Times, uh, so I'm not, I'm not uh, yeah. breaking any secrets, that his wife, who's a professor, at UPS was doing a presentation at a conference okay, down but, in California. But, and the children were with him, and yeah, he has an obligation as the father as well. Is the owner concerned that uh, all the questions that distract him will detract from his ability to do his job? One would always worry about something like this detracting from your ability to do your job. And I know he's also concerned about all of this making it difficult on the 360 some people who work for the state auditor's office across the state. He's very concerned about that. They have to go to entities and uh, present evaluations of how well they handle money and et cetera. So he is very concerned of the, of the impact of the news coverage on this case. The different Republicans have called on him to either resign or take away with absences he considered either. We're talking about party politics. I don't, I don't go there. If the governor at some point encourages him to step down, would that would that change the thinking on that? I'll ask him. I would only get an answer like in five minutes after this over. No. <laughs> if you were here, I mean, this is not a state auditor's office question, but since he's not coming out, I you know, if you were here, I would ask him, did he did he end up paying taxes on that three point something million dollars that was at question in that United National case? Do you know? Have you talked to him about? No. Did, I have no. I don't know, and no, I have not talked to him. Hey, what's going on? Or are they just not forthcoming in that they yeah. haven't contacted him? Good question. They? I don't know. I don't know whether he's called. Okay. I don't know why they didn't do that. But they haven't contacted him. Yes, that's okay. correct. So does he just plan to not have a public presence for several months or years or however long this investigation could go on? Is he just going to be kind of out of sight for an indeterminate period of time? No. Uh, he's not going to be out of sight for an indeterminate uh, period of time, as you ask. But, uh, probably hopes his kids won't be pursued by reporters uh, during this period of time as they have been either. Uh, but uh, he's going to continue to do his job, and so are the rest of us. <laughs>